Suppose we have a student's table with ID as the primary key and two other columns, first name and last name. Let's say we have another table, profiles, which has some extra detail about these students. And both these tables are linked by the foreign key, which is student ID in profiles table. So for each row in students, we can have at the most one row or no row in the profiles table. So in Laravel terms, we can define this relationship as student has one profile and profile belongs to student. So let's see how we can define this relationship via models. So we have these two models, student and profile. Please see that our table names were plural, that is students and profiles. However, our model names are similar student and profile since we know a student has one profile so inside the student model we are going to define a method we will give the method the same name as the method of the model with which we want to establish relationship so in this case it will be profile and this method is going to return the relationship this has one and we are going to pass it the profile class and in the same way we can go to the profile model and here we can define the inverse of the relationship which will be belongs to and we are going to pass it the student class All right, this defines the relationship between the two models. Now let's see how we can use this relationship to fetch the data. We are going to use the Tinker app. If you are not aware of the Tinker, it comes pre-installed with Laravel and it is a CLI tool to interact with the Laravel models without writing any code in your application. We can go to the tinker using php partition tinker once we are inside we can write any code to interact with the database so let's just fetch the student with id equal to one we can do that using stu1 is equal to app student and then find here we are going to pass the primary key and this will fetch the student from our database. Now, if we want to fetch the corresponding profile row, we do not need to query it ourselves. We can just do stu1 profile. Here, profile is the method name which we defined in the student model class. This one. Also, notice that we are not using any parentheses after profile we are just using the keyword profile and Laravel what it will do is it will fetch the data automatically based upon the relationship that we have defined over here so now if I press enter I do get null but that is because there is no row in the profiles table for this student so let's see how we can create one what we are going to do is we are going to create a row in the profile table and associate it with this student we can do so using student and then we are going to call the profile method remember now we need to call it with parenthesis and then we call the create method and within the create method we can pass the array we know it had an email let's give it a dummy email and a phone Let's give just one, one, one. Okay. Now, if I press the enter, it says the profile has been created. And if we see the student ID, it is the same ID for this student. Notice that even though we did not pass the student ID, Laravel automatically did that for us. 
and now if we refresh our object now if we fetch the profile it will give us that particular row from the profile table so this is how one to one relationship works just a word of caution here defining one to one relationship in laravel does not guarantee that you will have only one profile record for the student you have to manage this yourself in your application laravel will only make sure to fetch just one record from the profile table so if you want you can always do another create laravel won't stop the insertion it will insert the record so if i do this command again if i give different email and different phone number it is going to insert the record you see it has inserted the record with the same student id and next time when you fetch it it would uh, it would make sure to fetch you only one record but it could be any one of uh, the profile record it could either be this one or it could either be this one so how you can check this uh, well first of all let me just truncate the profile table and now if i fetch the student again now before uh, inserting into the profile table you can always check if the student profile is null or not if it is null then you can insert just like this one i'm going to refresh it again and now if i check if i get the profile it will give me the profile now we know that the profile is not null so instead of doing a create you can do an update and here if you pass the email laravel will make sure it will update the profile of this student only you do not need to pass it the profile id so remember to always make sure that in your application you always check if the associated record is already present or not we can also do a inverse so we can fetch the profile we are going to fetch the profile with id 1 and if i want to get the corresponding student i could do profile and then the name of the method that we defined in the profile model which was student so if i'm going to give student it is going to fetch the detail of the student id 1 automatically and there we go now suppose you want to link this uh, profile to another user in order to do that laravel comes with a method associate let's see how we can do that we are going to fetch our second student and what we are going to tell it is we are going to fetch our profile we are going to call the student method and we are going to tell laravel to associate this profile with the student and then we can call profile save and now if i refresh the profile we will see that it is linked with the student id 2 instead of the student id 1 there is also an inverse method disassociate so we can always do profile student and if we want to no longer link this profile to this student we can call dissociate 
and now if we do a save and fetch our profile again we see that the student ID has been changed to null just make sure that your DB sports null value for the foreign key for this functionality to work now association between Laravel only works if your database is following a particular convention in this case the foreign key was named as student underscore ID which was the singular name for the table followed by the prefix underscore ID Laravel looks for this foreign key automatically in order to fetch the relationship now let us assume that your foreign key is named as stu underscore id instead of the student id now let's see how we can make this relationship work now that the student underscore id column has been changed to stu underscore id let's see what happens when we try to fetch the data based upon the relationship we are going to fetch the student and then we are going to ask it to give us the profile for this student when we do this we get an error it says unknown column student underscore id so larvel is looking for the column student underscore id but since the column has been changed it is throwing this error so now we need to tell larvel to use this column instead of the student underscore id so since the foreign key has been has been changed to stu underscore id we need to specify this in our model relationship so we can do that in the student model and with within this has one relationship we can tell larvel that the name of the foreign key is stu underscore id remember by default larvel is looking for student underscore id but now since that has been changed we need to explicitly tell larvel that the name of the foreign key is this one we need to make the similar change in the profile model here also we can pass the second key a second parameter which is going to be stu underscore id telling it this is the name of the foreign column so let's go to tinker again Now if you fetch the student and now fetch the profile for this student that one works. So we are able to fetch the profile even though the name of the foreign key has been changed from student underscore id to stu underscore id. If we do the inverse that will work as well we fetch the profile and then we can fetch the student associated with this profile and that works as well now let's assume a scenario when the primary key in our student table is not id let's say it is student underscore id so let's see how we can define the relationship in this particular case first of all we will need to tell our student model the name of the primary key we can do so using primary key and we are going to tell it that the primary key has been changed to student underscore id remember by default larval assumes that the primary key is named as id Similarly, in the profile model, we will need to tell that this stu underscore id is related to the column student underscore id in the student table. By default, it it was linking to the id column in the students table. Now, if we go to the tinker and fetch our relationship, they are going to work the same way as they were working before i want you to go to tinker and try these changes on your own
and now one final modification you do not need to call this relationship as profile in the student's model you can call it anything you want based upon your business relationship let's say we want to call it information instead of profile let's go to tinker and now if we fetch our student if we fetch the profile we will get null because the relationship has been changed and if we go if we fetch information which is the name of the method we get the value from the profile table so you can see you can name the method anything which makes sense based upon your business logic now let's see some common queries that you can perform based upon this relationship we are going to fetch students which do not have any profile we can do so using app student and laravel has a method doesn't have and it takes the name of the relationship now since we know that our relationship between the student and profile has the name as information so we are going to pass it the information and then we are going to pass it the get so this will get all the students which do not have any corresponding row in the profile table and if i press enter we get all these records now if we want to fetch the students which have profile well we could do that instead of using does not have we can use has and if we press enter we get the two records which have the corresponding rows in the profile table now let's see how we can fetch students which have empty email or specific email here we need to query based upon the record in the profiles table so we could uh, do that using where has method instead of has method so let's see how we can do that here we need to fetch the student based upon the condition in the profiles table so let's see how we can do that we could use instead of has we could use where has method and pass it the name of the relationship and then we can pass it a closure and within the closure we could use the condition so the condition will be email we are going to use like and let's say to one at the rate press the rate percentage here we are going to use get and i'm going to copy this into the tinker and now it gives us the student which satisfied this particular condition in the profile step so we have got into a lot of depth with our has one chip hope this video was helpful to you in the next one we are going to cover has many relationship so if you have uh, liked this video please subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video thank you